uh, another uh, topic I'd love to ask you about, and this is one that always gets uh, YouTube riled up, so it's it's always fun to see the responses. But um, uh, my era of wrestling from my Super Martin days was from about uh, 95 until, well, let's be honest, uh, about 91 up until uh, 2001. And then of school and social life, I became, went from being a mega mark to just sort of a casual mark. Uh, back in those later days, Triple H was a total hate figure online. Just, oh, he's always booking himself to go over and he's in every angle and everybody's doing this. There's too much focus on him. I hate him. Uh, the modern day version of that is, in my opinion, Cody Rhodes. And he gets zero online shit for it where everybody debuts against him in an angle. Every every TV shows him cutting a 50-hour promo and doing the crazy spots and the bumps and the fucking angles and the debuts and everything's Cody, Cody, Cody. And there's no uh, complaint on him at all. So the question I have for you then is, um, what do you think uh, of Cody making AEW so much about himself despite the fact that his booking plan is not drawn like uh, they had hoped? No, I mean, their interest in AEW has gone down. Uh, we saw that they weren't, the arenas were not uh, being instant sellouts anymore. The arenas were sometimes less than half full before the lockdown. Ratings aren't dropping at the rate of WWE, but the ratings for AEW aren't getting better. They were, they're still in the, the 0.2s. They're rarely getting out of the 0.2s. Uh, I think AEW is lucky to have Chris Jericho because he's big star power, and I think he's the reason a lot of the... Well, actually, I think 25 times AEW has beat NXT to NXT, only beat them five times in viewership. NXT only beat them one time in the 18-49 to 49 rating. But Cody Rhodes, I, I do think he's overrated. I don't think he's as nice a guy as people say he is. I remember when he was doing independent shows, we were looking at booking him in Great North Wrestling. Part of his deal was he had to win. Uh, he could not He could not win by count out or DQ either. He had to pin the guy. I, I mean, those were some of his demands. And then we see he's let some people put him over in AEW, so he seems nice. But when he was going around on the indie scenes... That was his deal. He had to win by pinfall. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I've I've never met him, uh, but as as you brought up, they're not getting any more popular. But the fan, they have a a minority of fans that absolutely love them and think that Cody can do no wrong. But I think we've seen from the booking, if the booking was any good, wouldn't we see an increase? Yeah. And the thing is, uh, I really don't like Cody Rhodes because, as, as I've mentioned, I work for the Keeping 100 podcast, and he has banned the roster from appearing on the show, and he had Conrad pull uh, Disco's uh, Disco Inferno's appearance out of Starcast because he's a and he's no balls, and I don't think he's got what it takes uh, to say any of that shit to someone's face. Fuck him. And uh, but the thing the thing is as well with uh, the, the way you said about him putting people over in AEW, uh, I I don't think he's put anyone over. I think he's lost matches. But then the next day, it's then Cody in a new program, and it's all about him again. While that per like who was it he beat? Uh, MJF beat him, and then has done nothing since. While Cody's in another feud with another debuting person, he's a shithead. Plus. Uh, I met him once at a show in Dublin, and I was surprised that he how small he was. I thought he would have been bigger. I could have taken him. I couldn't really take him, but you know. Yeah, I think he's reached his peak in popularity. He's lucky that uh, he's Dusty's son, but I don't think he's going to eclipse Dusty by any stretch. He is not.